you've been patient. It's now the third episode. So why is OTA over the air important to organizations like us that are OTT? We've talked briefly about it, but now let me start to get into details. And let me start by saying that we're not gonna cover all of that in this episode. Over the next several weeks, we're gonna be talking about the dynamics here and about the future and about how OTA and OTT are gonna work together for years to come. So why? Why do we care about over-the-air television in our industry? I come from over the air. And a very smart person that I worked for used to always love saying, make the trend your friend. And that's exactly what I did in our previous company. I went around to everyone saying, over the air, it's going to make a comeback. Now, this was when cable still had 90% penetration and people would laugh me out of the room when I said, people are gonna start buying antennas. Well, two years later, when antenna sales are, were reaching a couple of million a year, no one was laughing and everyone was knocking on our door. The trend was cord cutting. People saying, I'm tired of paying a hundred and something dollars a month for television. I'm going to cut the cord, put up an antenna and watch all these channels for free. A couple of years later, another trend starts to emerge and that's streaming. So you have two trends that have started to happen in the last 12 years that has been pushing cord cutting. You have people cutting the cord and putting up antennas, but now you also have people cutting the cord and going straight to streaming. You even have streaming only homes. So why is this important? This is important because if you wanna make the trend your friend, you don't just make one of these trends your friend, you try to make both these trends your friend. You don't want to be just totally reliant on over the air as your trend. And you don't want to be only reliant on streaming as your trend. You want to take advantage of making both of these trends your friend. And that's where, especially an organization like Freecast with its product, Select TV, its service, Select TV, we can be well positioned to do exactly that. What do people in the OTA world miss about cable? They miss a guide, they miss on demand. They miss a lot of the things that Select TV brings to the table. What do people that go streaming only miss? Well, they miss their localism. They miss their local news, they miss uh, a, you know the big four, ABC, NBC, uh, Fox, CBS. And remember that to this day, despite a thousand channels out there, despite all these streaming services, the big four networks still command the largest ratings in the TV world. So if you are not connected with the OTA world in your services, if you're not connected to localism in some way, into your services, you're missing a huge chunk of what people want. So we in Select TV and the OTT world need to understand that and understand that not only is over there not going away, it's going through a revolution which we discussed last week with ATSC 3.0. And again, I wish I could just dive into all of this, but I know you're not gonna sit here and listen to me for 20, 30 minutes straight. So we're going to be breaking this up into the following weeks. Specifically, how does ATSC 3.0 over the air are going to work with organizations like ours and how it's going to benefit OTT? But again, the first step in moving into the future, the first step into dominating 
the future of entertainment is to understand the trends. When you don't recognize trends, you end up losing. And we could go through a long history within the entertainment business, but in almost any business of people not seeing the trends and just holding on to the way they've always done things. And then giants die. And then some little company you never thought would succeed becomes the powerhouse. We've seen that throughout history. So we here at Freecast, we're visionaries. We believe in looking at the trends and making our decisions, not necessarily on our gut, not necessarily just because we like something, but what does the public like? What is the public doing? Where are things headed? Because if you know where things are headed, you can be there when they arrive. And that's what we're going to be doing as we look at over the air and how we can interact with over the air. So again, continue to come back week after week and learn a little bit more about these trends and where they're heading. Again, thank you for your time today, and I look forward to our next time together.